Do you have a like a pop moment where you were like, oh shit, like I'm really getting cussed out right now? And then you oh, just, yeah. oh yeah. <laughs> I got one for sure. For sure. Um <clears throat> I went through uh like a three game stretch where I couldn't throw a rock in the ocean. Like I was shoot I I was like I think we played the the Pelicans too when I was I, I couldn't hit anything. Like I was like probably three for sixteen from three over like three games. Damn. It was bad. I'm just kidding. Uh, I've been worse. I went yeah. one from 21. I'm about to say three for 16. Not that. Hey, not that. Hey, it's shoot. bad, but like, yeah. it ain't yeah. that bad. I didn't yeah. want to yeah. shoot, and they were like, yeah. Channing, keep shooting. I was like, I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> I just threw exactly. I don't want to. Exactly. Uh, so we came into practice one day, uh, and you know, before practice, we have a little meeting at center court or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, uh, <clears throat> he, he stopped everything and was like, uh, in front of everybody, coaches, everybody was looking. Nobody knew the practice plan that day, so everybody was just kind of holding their breath. We sucked. We were losing, so oh. he was pissed. Um, and he was like, Zach, you never shoot, never pick and pop again in your life, ever. <laughs> Roll to the rim. I'm effing, I'm done. You're not shooting anymore. Like, that was it. And for, like, like a two, three-week stretch, I was just rolling to the basket, didn't shoot any threes. Um, and oh, then, he was serious. No, he was serious. And then even in my like my my individual workouts, like I stopped shooting pick and pop threes. Like it was a wrap. Oh my gosh. It was, it was done. Um but and when then, did you let you shoot them? And then I like I was just like, bro, I gotta do something. I gotta pop eventually. Like yeah. if there's you know, my guy's all, all the way in the paint, I'm gonna pop. Um and then I just started making a few here and there. Um and just kind of sneak it in every every little bit. And then when he wasn't on the court in practice, I'd work on it when he wasn't looking and then Eventually, it just came back my way. I started making more, and then he was like, "Hey, man, we, you know, we got to start. You got to start shooting five, six, seven threes a game now, man. We need you to shoot more." So it just, it just went like this. But do you know why yeah. he, like, now that I'm older and like on this side, do you know yeah. why he did that? I, I think he knew that you know I would get back to it. Well, you know, like I also think that he knows you're not just that. Yeah. And sometimes, like, we're very stubborn at when this is not going right. I'm just gonna. You know, like, I'm going to beat it down. Right. So he's like, don't even worry about that. Because if you keep trying to, you know, if you keep trying to just force it. He's had some moments today, Trey. Yeah, yeah I know. Sorry. No, and he got on me. Yeah. And he had <laughs> two back to back. <laughs> extra pause. Extra pause. <laughs> In honor of Mace. I'm just going to say Mace and Cameron from now on. Look at this guy. DG. Oh. <laughs> uh, hey, he wait. wanted you to do both things mm -hmm. and then not even worry about this. Like, mm -hmm. It was actually a compliment that he goes, okay, roll to the hoop for yeah. this. And you stop worrying about it. Yeah. And let's be real. It's fucking San Antonio. They got cameras in there. Yeah. So he knows when you're shooting. Yeah. He was yeah. just like, don't yeah. focus on that. Do other stuff, right? Mm -hmm. I remember when I was a rookie, I was shooting face-up jumpers and barbecuing people. Mm -hmm. And Larry Brown at the time was like, son, don't shoot any more jumpers. I need you to get to the rack. Mm -hmm. I was like, coach, I, you know, listen, this, that ain't me. <laughs> but if I had known what I know now, I would have understood what he was trying to say. But I was like, man, I'm doing good. Like, I switched positions. I was a center. Now I'm a forward. I'm shooting jumpers. I can't compete with Shaq and Yao and these gigantic humans. But he, it was all he was asking me to do, because he could see it, was to get uncomfortable for a little bit so that I could be better in a month. Mm -hmm. He wasn't looking at tomorrow. He was looking at a month. And so I think that's what's like hearing that story is great. about. And, and also at the time, our team just offensively as a whole, we weren't clicking at all everybody was kind of struggling so his his thinking too was like we just need somebody in the paint we can't have five guys on the, oh. on a perimeter type thing so that was part of it